What's up y'all? My name is Tyler, out here on the road with Colony House. Uh, we're out on a great fall tour here tonight at Lincoln Theater in Chicago. Uh, side note, the guys call me Tasty. You might want to know that. Uh, we're doing a quick rig rundown of my keys set up here. Essentially what we're doing is we're running through four different keyboards. The Nord, uh, the Novation, which is controlling main stage on this Mac. Uh, the Novation is also controlling the JU-06A. You can see where the lights are split. I'm able to go through different songs and split up the keyboards between those outs. And my little OP-1 right here, one of my best friends, running that guy as well. Um, I'll start top to bottom. The Juno here, JU-06A, uh, we got the 60 on one side and the 106 on the other side. I'm using both of those, probably six or seven patches throughout this current set. This guy is running into my RV-6. Uh, I keep this the effect level all the way up. and use this little nose expression down here. Just a little bit bigger, easier for me to see and go to in the middle of the show rather than come over here and tweaking there. I run that through that guy, uh, just kind of affect the reverb amount through the Juno throughout the show. So this JU-06A, this is a Juno emulator. Uh, it runs the Juno 60 and the Juno 106. It's only a four voice model, but it's kind of all that I need for what we're doing here. I really like it because I'm actually able to move the filters, move the envelopes, and you don't really get that uh, tactical feel as much, just the MIDI control, you know? So I'm running uh, MIDI out from this Novation right into the MIDI in here and just straight back out. Just a nice four voice, easy rolling boutique synth. Uh, the OP-1 is just straight out. I've got, uh, let's see, six different patches that I'm using throughout this show. Love the OP-1. It's amazing. I love it just as much offstage as I do on the stage. Uh, the OP-1 here, fantastic piece of gear. Uh, basically, this thing is a synth machine, a drum machine, and a tape, uh, four-track tape recorder all at the same time. I'm just using it for the synth modules. Uh, I've got a few uh, patches loaded on here from Red Means Recording, if you've seen them before. Love that guy's sounds, uh, and I'm just running some simple synth stuff out of this. Uh, it's a little more bright and brittle, but it does really well for some lead stuff. Whereas the Juno, I'm using this more for pads, uh, kind of washy synths, particularly going through the RV6. Okay, so the Novation here, I love this guy because it's able to control multiple different things at once. I'm only using it for two here, which is through main stage and also through the Juno, uh, but you can do up to eight if you want to and split up the keyboard. So. What I'm able to do with this uh, Novation is I have all of the songs for the set all mapped out right here. So I'm able just to go and move through every song and it automatically changes everything that's patched here on main stage, which is great. I can control the whole rig just from those few buttons right there, which is awesome. Uh, so throughout every song, I'm able to split up the keyboard in just the different ways, map different faders, map different knobs, uh, map the mod wheel to do different things. It's really quite versatile. Uh, it takes a little bit of a while to set up, but once you kind of get into the feel of it on tour, everything's just muscle memory and it's a lot of fun. So down here, I'm using main stage. I have every song that the guys have all mapped out, and the Novation is mapped to it. So uh, Take It Slow, which is our first song. I've got two different sounds mapped over there. Uh, Na Natural is our second song. Nothing's going on in the Novation. I still move it over just in case. Uh, let's see, one of the beefier ones. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of strings mapped up on this guy. A uh, few instruments over here. I like using the BBC Symphony. Uh, another plugin that I use a lot is Omnisphere, and I use a lot of the Arturia stuff. Uh, any any type of big synth that I can't get out of the Nord is what I'll do the Novation through. Um, very versatile, a lot of fun, really cool. The out of main stage goes through my Apollo Twin. Wonderful interface. Uh, I do use the pre's on this, uh, running out through the pianos, which is really nice. Uh, super reliable and I get to use it during the day on the bus for tracking some other things, which is great. Uh, the Walrus Audio Descent, this is an amazing reverb pedal. I use this about a third of the time, depending on the size of the room. If I really want to get some larger sounds, I'll run main stage through this. It's the only rig without an actual pedal to it and I like pedals, so <laughs> fun to do that. Otherwise, most of the reverbs I'm using are just running uh, straight out of main stage and that is the T-A-L, Togu Audio Line. I like to use their reverbs. Free reverbs you can find online, really great stuff. It's kind of similar to the mod setting on the RV6 or the RV5. So this is my main guy. This is the Nord Electro 6D. It's pulling all the weight. It's doing everything that's organic. Piano sounds, whirlies, organs. There's a few synths on it, but normally I'll leave that to the top tier. Um, everything is mapped. Going through the entire set. And the nice thing is I've got the live section here where if we do something on the fly, I've got a few patches pulled up that I'm able to just to hit and know that I've got a really good piano sound, a really good whirly. The fun thing about the Nord is that it's running stereo out into my pedal board down here. Okay, so the Nord, I'm running that through a fully stereo pedal board from front to end, uh, which is a lot of fun. I really enjoy that. 
the first thing I run into, other than the volume, we go volume in and then we go straight to the iridium. Um, it's kind of odd to use the iridium first, it's an amp and cab simulator, but everything that I've got behind it is mostly a modulation effect, so uh, I kind of consider this like my, uh, my effect send coming out of the, the amp, coming out of the iridium. From there I go into the deco, I use this guy a lot with a double tracker, kind of give a good flange and a really light chorus. Uh, and I'll use the, uh, the tape saturation on a few heavier whirly sounds. From there we go into the Juliana Walrus Audio. Love this pedal. I used to have the Diamond Halo Chorus on here until a couple weeks ago and switched to this guy. I don't have the expression set on it yet. I haven't found a great uh, use for that in this set, but I do like that it has the expression out and the stereo straight through. Uh, you can get some really cool vibraphone tones or uh, vibe tones on it. Just straight chorus and then just a barely little of dry. And I kind of move that around throughout the set. That's on maybe five or six different songs. Uh, Altoids 10, got my spare in ears. Another Altoids 10, actually Altoids. <laughs> From there, we move into the Eventide. This is the pitch factor. I love this guy. I use it for a few octave sounds and mainly for the crystal classic effect. Uh, I use that in conjunction with my timeline. This is more of the uh, non traditional delays. I use the ice a lot uh, for learning. I've got a few like really, really dialed in longer delays going on this. Uh, I use this in conjunction with the pitch factor mostly to get some cool beds of sounds underneath what I'm playing. Uh, but my main host for delay is this space echo. Can't go wrong with it. I love it. I'm moving this around the entire set. Uh, and my favorite thing is whenever the guys play a really, really big, heavy song, like 220 or oh yeah, I'm able just to punch down and make it oscillate on its own and get some really crazy wild sounds going up way high in the treble area. Uh, from there we go to my reverbs. Got the flint. I use the 80 setting on this. Uh oh, oh, we're not covering uh, The 80 setting on this and the 60 setting, the spring and then the full like plate that falls out. Really like that. I'm constantly pulling that mix knob all the way up just to get some cool beds and trails at the end of the set. And then my only always on pedal, my favorite pedal of all time, the RB5. I keep this on the mod setting just barely there so that every sound just kind of has a big bloom at the end of it. Um, other important parts of the rig, you got to have your lights, you got a few of those, uh, and you got to have your fans. I've got one fan right here behind my MacBook. This guy's a little old, so the fan's just keeping them cool, keeping them calm. And then down here I've got another fan that keeps me cool and keeps me calm. Uh, the final out that I have is my vocal. We're running an Audio-Technica AE3300. I'm doing mostly gang vocals, real big reverb, background vocals. Uh, the other nice thing about this rig is that everything is pretty much self-contained. Last count, I think we're at like 38, maybe 40 cables, uh, but most of it is loomed and it stays inside. If you want to follow me down here, you can see that we've got a rack unit put in here. So everything is all self-contained and I literally just run one giant audio cable out and one power cable out. All the power stays in, the pedals will stay in, everything pretty much packs in. Put a big shield on it and it goes in the trailer sideways and I pick it up the next day. These guys, this is one of my first pairs, my Viva pairs. Viva La Vida is one of my favorite records. These are the RSM quads. This is actually my backup pair. I sweat a little too much into my other pair, uh, which are the Spires, the six drivers. Those are all players as well. Shift them off to them. Those guys just fixed them up real quick in a day, and I'm picking them up on Monday in Minneapolis. But love the all clear guys. Great ears, super reliable. Awesome company, great people. Thank you guys for checking out my gear. Love doing this. Appreciate you watching it. Check out Colony House, colonyhousemusic.com. Find us out on tour. We're out for the next month, going down the West Coast, making our way over there, coming around back through Texas. Come check us out. Check out the guys' music. Thank you again.